visit the nas.edu homepage. From the Quick Links menu, choose Google Apps to log into your NAS email address. If you forgot your username or password, contact Information Technology Services at 585-389-2111 or visit them in person in the lower level of the library. Once you are logged in, click on the collection of squares to access the Google Apps menu. Then choose Sites. Click on the Create button to choose a portfolio template. Click on Browse the Gallery for more. Choose one of the portfolio templates from the list and then click Select. Name your core portfolio with your Nazareth username. That's what comes before the at in your NAS email address. For example, student1. Next, click Create. Wait for a few moments for your template to be created. Your professors will tell you which assignments need to be added to your portfolio. Put assignments in the correct subject area of the navigation page. Change your portfolio permissions. Click the gear icon in the upper corner. Click Sharing and Permissions. The default setting is anyone at Nazareth can find and edit. Click Change. Choose Off specific people and then Save, which will allow you to decide whom to share your portfolio with. Share your portfolio with Alicia Collins, the portfolio help person. Choose Can View, type in her email address, and click Send. A-C-O-L-L-I-6-3 at nas.edu. Note, not at mail.nas.edu. You will receive a warning that you are sharing with someone who is not in the Google Apps organization. Click Yes. A list of who has access will be updated. Note, you will use this process to share your portfolio with professors as needed. I will now cover how to return to your portfolio and add content. Log into your NAS email and click the collection of squares. Choose Sites. You will see the portfolio you created with your NAS ID. Simply click on it to open your portfolio. To add a file as an attachment, choose the correct portfolio subject area. In this example, Literature. Click on Add Files. Then click on the file you want to attach to your portfolio and choose Open. Your file is now attached. If you made a mistake and need to remove it, click the X. Need to insert an image? Click the pencil icon at the top. Choose Insert and then Image. Choose Upload Images to add your own image, or if the image is online, click Web Address and copy-paste the web address of the image. Upload Images is just like adding a file. Locate the image and then click Open. Once you see a preview of your image, click OK. Use the buttons above the image to resize, align, etc. if needed. Once your image is the way you want it, click Save. Need to insert a file from Google Drive? Click the pencil icon at the top. Choose Insert and then Drive. Choose the file type you would like to add, in this example, Document. Use the search box to find the file or select it from the list of icons below the search box. Click on the file and click Select. Click Save to finish the process. The document will appear on the page. You can use the button above to realign or move the document if needed. Be sure to click Save. Your document is now embedded in your portfolio. Need to insert a YouTube video? Click the pencil icon at the top. Choose Insert and then click YouTube. Paste the web address of the YouTube video in the box provided and then click Save. The video title will appear on your portfolio. Click Save at the top to finish the process. It's always a good idea to play the video to be sure it works. Note, if the video gets removed from YouTube, it will no longer work in your portfolio. Need to change the color, fonts, etc. in your portfolio? Click on the gear icon and choose Manage Site. 
Next, choose themes, colors, and fonts. Change any attributes you wish. I'm going to change this to a red background. If I don't like it, I can just choose something else. Choose Save when you have finished making changes. Click on your NAS user ID to return to your portfolio and see the changes you have made. The attributes you changed will immediately be visible in your portfolio. Still need help? Contact Alicia Collins at 585-389-2633 or acolli63 at nas.edu. Thank you for watching.